What's good? This is Kev with KevWestBeats.com and this is a video tutorial on connecting your turntable to your computer to sample records. I cannot believe sometimes how much I see this question. It's a really simple thing to do. It takes two minutes but a lot of people miss it. And oddly, I don't see many videos of this on YouTube. So I decided to make one today. Now before we get started, I'm going to show you exactly what you need. Here's everything that you're going to You have your turntable. Mine is a Staten Straight 60. And you're going to have to power it on. And you're going to need this cable right here. It is a RCA cable output in ground. You're also going to need a DG mixer or a phono preamp. Some audio interfaces even come with phono preamps on it, but it's very rare. But this is important. This is the amp to make sure that your turntable signal is loud enough. This is the amp that you're going to need to power your um, turntable. Um, your mic preamp that you use for your condenser mic will not work. There are different power voltages. This is 48, well not 48 volts, 48 volts is for the um, mic preamp. I forget how much this one is, but they're not the same voltage. And the last thing you're going to need is your audio interface. This is my audio interface. The propeller heads balance. And the a set of cables. Um, the cables that you may need are going to depend on what kind of mixer and audio interface you have. Go to Guitar Center and make sure it inputs outputs for you. First thing you're going to want to do, take your RCA cables from your audio or from and connect them into your um, DJ mixer, like so. Alright, and as you see here now, I had to turn the camera off for a second. This is how your phono amp should look or your, um, excuse me, your ground. It's a little fork looking thingy. Make sure you screw that on tight so that way you don't get any um, noise and buzzing sounds in your um, recording. Then you record these, the inputs into the proper input slots. Next, you're going to need your audio cables. I'm using RCA outputs for my mixer because that's what most mixers use. And in or excuse me, output to my master outputs and this is really difficult to do it while I hold my camera you're also going to have to excuse my kids and my friends kids who are watching them today and they're kind of loud in the background I know you probably hear them you may not all right so we have the mixer set up and the last step here is connecting to your audio interface um, take my left cable Go into my left input. Get your left and right right. Because that way if you decide to sample the stereo and you start panning stuff, you know what you're panning where. And as you see, I have it all hooked up to my audio interface. 